All right, guys, this is Rick with Bam Aquatics again. We're gonna set up this brine shrimp hatchery that we've talked about before, which this is the one from San Francisco Bay Company that you get that comes with, uh, basically it's just this base is what you get. They also send some airline here that you'll need. Uh, they send you three of these hatch mixes, which is uh, the eggs and the uh, salt mixed together. Uh, you're also gonna need uh, a valve of some sort. Of course, a two liter bottle, emptied and clean, and some air, extra airline will be necessary as well, and an air pump. I'm gonna use the pump that I use here for this 20 gallon that has two outlets, and I'm gonna split it out and put use that for the brine shrimp hatchery. So on the plastic bottle, the first step you have to do is you need to take off this little ring so you can be sure and get it sealed good. So I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna cut off the top here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this off and then we'll start cutting the top off. Okay, next you want to cut the top off. I'm going to kind of use this little, there's a little line here that you may or may not can see, but I'm going to kind of use that as a guide. And we're going to cut this top off. And once you've got the top off, you're going to take and you're going to use the, uh, uh, probably be good to go ahead and hook up the airline. There's a small, um, a little more light over here, there's a small um, little place inside for you to hook the airline to. So I'm going to hook that to it and then run it out this little uh, slot here that we have. And it runs out right there and stands up like that. We're going to put the uh, next step will be to screw the bottle in. Get it nice and tight. There we go. And next is to get the water. So I'm going to get some water and we're going to fill it up about halfway, I guess, or a little bit more, about a liter of water. So I'm gonna get the water and then we'll be right back. One thing to remember is you'll wanna go ahead and put your valve on first, uh, so as to make sure that your water doesn't drain out because this is also the way you will drain out your brine trim. So make sure your valve is on and turned off before you add the water to the, to the uh, bottle. And now we'll pour the water in. Put about halfway. Okay, and we've got a leak. All right, guys, I found out there's a sweet spot when screwing this in. If you screw it in too tight, then um, it wrinkles the, um, the seal there. And if you don't screw it in tight enough, then it doesn't, uh, doesn't make the seal. So you have to be careful when doing that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the, uh, measure out this other piece of airline. I'm gonna cut that, and then we're gonna connect it to this valve, which I won't need very much at all. It's basically just gonna be enough to go between the valve and the air pump itself, so. So we'll connect that here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to the pump. I'm going to open the valve. We're beginning to get some bubbles, which that's good. What we were hoping for. I'm going to go ahead and add in the hatch mix. And as you can see, it's beginning to mix all of it together. So now we're just gonna leave this light here. We're gonna put this light on it. And we're gonna leave it here for 48 hours or 24 to 48 hours. We're gonna see uh, how long it takes. So uh, we'll come back and show you what happens when we get done. 
All right, there we have it going. Put the lamp on the top here. Keeping it warm, hopefully heated a little bit. So we're gonna uh, see how this works. All right, guys, as you've had it going for a while, you'll notice it gets this pink consistency to it. And once that happens, you should have some brine shrimp hatched in there. So we're gonna, uh, you'll turn the airline off and then uh, put the light to the bottom to collect the uh, brine shrimp to the bottom. So just a moment, we'll be back and we'll do that. All right guys, so you'll turn the air off. Well, maybe it's gonna turn it the wrong way. You'll take the light and move it to the bottom. And then hopefully the brine shrimp will come down to the bottom. Hopefully you can see, like I can see, that the uh, Baby brine shrimp are swimming around there at the bottom. You can see them moving. There's hundreds or thousands, maybe. I'm not really sure. There's a lot. So uh, we're going to show you what we do next. Once you've done that, then what you want to do is disconnect the airline. So you'll take this and you'll disconnect. Let me make your where you can see a little bit better. So you'll take and you'll disconnect this airline from the air supply. And then you'll take the hose and you've got your tube here. And so you'll want to um, uh, take this and you'll open this up and drain it into your container. Hopefully you can see all the brine shrimp there on the bottom. And if we go up here, you can see at the top is all the eggs and the things that did not, the egg shells that hatch. So it kind of separates it by putting the light down towards the bottom. The brine shrimp were attack, attracted to that light. So now we're going to uh, drain out the brine shrimp. And sometimes it's kind of hard, I've noticed, to get it started with the uh, airline because they're so thick at first. But if you give it a minute, then usually they'll come out. Finally about to come through now. You know, once you get the water to where it's just about clear, you'll want to stop. So, right about there. I'm not sure you can see in this light. Let's see if I can get this light over here where we can see better. But there's tons of brine shrimp here. So we're going to take this and we're going to feed it to the uh, fish tanks now and let you show how they go crazy for it. All right, guys, here's the panda guppy tank. We're going to feed a little bit to these guys doesn't take much and you can see how many it is in the tank there just watch these guys go nuts for this stuff let's 
uh, the fry and everything will be able to get plenty to eat out of that one tiny bit that I poured in there. Yeah, you can see them there. See them swimming around and going nuts. And the guppies just love it. So there's enough in this tank to feed this tank. If you can see the little fry there getting some as well. It's just great for the fry. So we're going to feed the American Greens next. There's a lot of fry in this tank. And the good thing about this food is it'll be able to live in the tank. It is a salt water um, thing, but uh, actually the brine shrimp is able to live in the tank for a while. So it will be floating around in the tank for a little while and they can continue to eat on it. But we'll be back in a few minutes and we'll summarize. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. As you can see, this uh, hatchery works well for me. I hatch out about two batches of brine shrimp a week and feed all my tanks. So they get live brine shrimp about twice a week. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Go ahead and hit the subscription if you had not already. And uh, tap that notification bell where it will notify you anytime I upload a video. But thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time here from good old Bama.